So there's no post TME. You are allowed to cook. You are allowed to drive. And you're allowed to also live an extraordinary life while you get a balanced education. And also, you're allowed to pay your fees at least in three installments. And this is one school where, um, yes, it's a private school, but it's a school that allows you to live a proper university life independently. We're talking today about Nigeria's premier university, Igbinedion University of Kada. It's popularly called iuo for short and in this video i'll be telling you everything you need to know i've, I've interacted with like loads of students in the university over the last eight years and um it's the first time i'm ever doing a video on the Benedion university and i'm doing this video because one of you asked me to do this video i'm putting you here right you're asking to do this video and let's just dive into it let's tell you everything that no one will tell you even the internet even the day of your orientation they might be scared to say some things i'll be saying today on this video now watch this video to the end because at the end of this video i have an important announcement to make celebration yes <laughs> i'll tell you something at the end of this video but let's start talking about ibinadion university so if you're 22 years old and above, you cannot apply to enter this school. The cap for 100 level students is 22 years old. Between 16 and 22, you can come into the school. And um, a couple of people have also asked me, Mr. Zion, how much is the school fees for Ibenedion University? Uh, school fees is within 850,000 Naira to 2 million Naira or 2.5 million Naira. That depends on the cost that you're doing, right? A couple of you coming to study law or coming to study medicine and other courses here, but let me just use law and medicine. Um, the fees are a bit different um, other than like other departments, right? Some people also ask me, um, Mr. Zion, is Ibinadion University a good school? Well, I'll allow you to be the judge of that for yourself, right? But for me, I think it's a great school because it's one private university that truly, um, you know, some people say private universities are like glorified secondary school. I don't agree when it comes to Ibinadion University and some other universities. Why? Because for Ibinadion University, you are allowed to do a couple of things. It's like a private university with a, with a sprinkle of public school vibes. <laughs> Not in the public school where I mean, there's no strike and there's no cult and there's no all these other things, right? But in, in the fact that you are allowed to do certain things that most private school won't allow you to do in, in Ibinadion University. What is the cutoff mark for Ibinadion University? You already know that it's um, from 170 and above. Um, with that, you can apply uh, for admission into Ibinadion University. Now, but let me just quickly say here, it's a caveat, right? If you are going to go to Ibinadion University, don't bring a tista lot there. You know, a tista lot line doesn't work in Ibinadion University. Not that it doesn't work, but um, you're not going to enjoy the thing. Uh -huh. So, MTN network is great. Airtel network is great. Um, take those ones along. And I will also advise you, if you can, please come to school with a router, either a MiFi or a router. It's going to help you because some people are depending. The school has Wi-Fi, right? I mean, it's good. But the Wi-Fi of the school, I have personally experienced it, is not strong. So I don't advise you to come to school depending on uh, the school's Wi-Fi. It's been at the university, or as I'll be calling it in this video, IUO. Um, well, they have good, they have Wi-Fi, but if you want to depend on that, um, you are going to have, um, you know, data issues. So come with your own Wi-Fi or MiFi, but please do not bring Nine Mobile. Remember that Okada, it's a village, right? It's it's a village that Ibinidon University has made popular a bit, right? So don't come there with Nine Mobile line. It won't work. You're going to regret it. Come there with MTN or Airtel. All right, so first of all, if you've been admitted into Ibinidon University or you're planning to come, if you're planning to come, this video is great for you, right? If, you're, if you've been admitted and you're watching this video and, you, and you're yet to resume, already you know that you should check your KOFA page um, for your admission letter and the admission letter carries like details of like your resumption date and stuff. But if you don't resume at the date where you're supposed to resume, um, you know, you're going to be made to pay 50,000 Naira. Remember, when it comes to Ibinidon University, right? If you commit a crime, just be ready with the cash, you know. Um, they say if you commit the crime, be ready to do the time. But in this school, if you commit the crime, be ready to pay the fine, you know. <laughs> but then if you commit some kind of crime, be ready to go to your house. And that one, there's no fine for that one. You got to do what is uh, against the rule. Although it's a liberal school, so they're, they're like, most things you will get away with, right? But don't commit the crime because you're going to pay the fine. 
you come late 50k if you resume late 50k so um be ready to do that if you know that um you know you're coming late to school but please i'll advise you to come early um and come and do your registration now another thing i like about ibenidio university is the fact that like there's something called summer right and and with that um only that night has changed before with summer you can get a set but what summer does for you is that if you have carryover, right, um, your carryover, you cannot write all the courses, you know, in summer. And, and let me tell you something. Some people come to Igunidio University um, because it's a liberal school. They get carried away. So you now see people getting carryovers, you know, and then having to write that those carryovers in summer. And it's not free, right? If you're going to write a carryover in summer, summer is just to help you make up. But one, one caveat I'll give you is that now you can no longer get an A. So you are going to still do summer to pass the courses that you failed in the semester, but you can only get a C. And you must have 75% attendance uh, in the summer classes to be able to write the exam. Now, if you have one carryover, it's 20,000 Naira to, to write it during the summer. If you have two carryovers, it's 30,000 Naira. If you have three carryovers, it's 40,000 Naira. I don't even want you to be thinking of four carryovers. What were you doing in school, right? But summer gives you a chance to rewrite the courses you failed. So when people have gone home for holiday, you will be in school writing. Um, not you, not you listening to me. Nobody in this channel is going to have that problem. Uh, but Ibinidio University gives you a chance to write um, your, the courses you failed in summer. Another thing that um, you get to do when you get to 300 level is that you get to take entrepreneurship classes. I like, I like that one, you know. And unlike other universities where, you know, they'll just say everybody's going to learn how to mix, uh, mix soap or everybody's going to just learn about business. It's about business, but they are giving like a plethora of options for you to choose from. You can choose to do fashion designing. You can choose to do leather bags. You can choose to do like a lot of things in the entrepreneurship studies when you get to 300 level. Now, please don't skip it. If I were you, take it. You know, because what's the university? Beyond the certificate, the university is relationships and experience. It's very important that you know that okay so like i said before people are allowed to drive you're allowed to drive in the university if you want to right um but if you're in 100 level you cannot you cannot be allowed to use your car right if you get to 200 level you can come in register your car and then you can drive and it's not even luxury because the two the two um you know uh, campuses are a bit far from each other and you have to drive from one to one right and and you know you have two campuses and then you have the estate where you where, where the hostels are located um so it's important that you understand that the fact that they say you can drive doesn't mean like it's just luxury it's just for for ease of con like for convenience sake i think um for people that want to do it although some people used to use it to do from big boy and big girl so but for me um if you're going to drive in school i just think it's to ease like movement for you to get you from point a to point b you shouldn't get into your head at all that you are driving in school it's just to help you people do it in other countries and it's not a big deal when you drive as a student right but if you, in case you don't have a car now like i said 100 level students fresh ass listening to me you can't drive um you know maybe people that are listening to me now and are already in school can maybe um also comment let me know um, what's the situation now about driving but i know that 100 level students are not allowed to use their cars right now another thing i'm going to say is that obviously if you even if you don't have a car the but you, you already had paid um as part of your school fees for um the shuttle services so the university pro provides a compulsory uh shuttle bus service to allow students uh, to go from point a to point b or from one campus to, to the other and the fee is already included in your other charges as you will see it in the school now one mistake people also make when they are paying fees for Ibenidio university i have made them i made that mistake last year and uh, because i pay fees for people um and then the, the, the parents had to go to school and then later had to collect the money back right i paid acceptance fee two hundred thousand, and i'm paid eight hundred thousand eight hundred plus for school fees not knowing that like i'm supposed to pay the i know that the acceptance fee was part of the school fees but i was i, I now paid it separately i was now thinking when i saw the charges in the the tuition i was now thinking that you know if i pay that i'm supposed to pay like you know that one and then the 200k but it was supposed to be the 800k if you are paying it in full you're not now supposed to pay the 200k again you know so I, I made that error i paid 200k acceptance and i paid 800 and something for the client and then they went to school and they had to like go to bursary and follow all those long processes although they refunded their money but please if you are paying the full school fees on your kofa portal then you don't need to pay acceptance fee again 
you know or if you are paying if you've paid the acceptance fee already the 200k then please calculate the school fees and pay and pay the difference if you are studying law and medicine eh, i beg you don't think you're in school yet in the Benedictine university your 100 level is like pre-degree now because the quota that is given to Benedictine university for medicine and law when you go and check medical council uh, medical and dental council of nigeria's website i put it in the description box of this video when you go and check it you will see the quota that was allocated to Benedictine university for you to understand that all the people you are seeing now in 100 level in medicine all the people you are seeing now in 100 level in law all of you are so much my dear if you even see your admission letter in that your medicine they will say it's pre <laughs> pre science i mean pre medicine something like that so even in your admission letter you are not yet a medical student they are like doing pre degree now i'm not saying you are doing pre degree you are in 100 level but they will state it there. They will state it there. That progression into 200 level for MBBS program is highly competitive, right? And it's strictly based on merit and the approved quota. So students who cannot make the cutoff point can now join allied courses like nursing, anatomy, uh, microbiochemistry, bi psychology, um, um, uh, physiology, and, and others, right? So I want to say to you, please, if you are doing law, the same thing. Be serious. Let me say this to you. A couple of people have entered the Benedictine University in 100 level. And to them, you know, I'm in school now. If you are doing medicine especially, you are not in school yet. Till you cross over like the Israelite people. Till you cross over to 200 level. You are not in school, though. Let me just be very honest with you. Because it's eight years of me doing this thing. And I have seen people cry. Because... When at the end they'll say you cannot uh, uh, go to 200 level. So be serious. 100 level in Ibinada University, there will be so much to do. There will be so much fun. Especially in second semester. Your second semester has the student week. Your second semester has the founders week. Your second semester has all the weeks and the mendemendes. Right? Second semester is fun in Ibinada University. Ah, are you? You already know. Second semester is the semester for... But... If you are doing medicine and law and other departments, especially medicine, 100 level, eh? don't participate in anything. I beg you. I'm talking to people doing medicine now. Don't participate in anything. Just read your book because your name is like written in pencil in the school. People will not tell you this one. They will not even, maybe they might tell you in orientation, Sha, but you must be extremely serious for you to move on to 200 level. Let me tell you the quota for Ibinidion University. Go and check it. It's on the Medical and Dental Council website of Nigeria. Let me tell you, it's 74. 74 people are is the approved quota. That means no matter how many people are now, 74 is the approved quota for this session. So it means they're going to keep dropping people and dropping people and dropping people till they get that quota. That's why they always tell you that. Progression is based on merit and is based on quota. Imagine the number of merits they will have and imagine the quota they have. Merit might be more than quota. So you must determine to outwork yourself. You must determine to put in the work. Put your nose to the grindstone. No playing, no. No playing. I like that song. No sleep, no sleep. Wake up. But this time, not collect your money. Read your book. So let's talk about some of the documents that you are going to need if you are coming to Ignidion University, right? So IUO, basically, like I told you, there's no post TMA. Basically, what you do is just screening, upload your documents, um, pay for the screening form in your Kofa page, and you'll be good to go. But you're going to need some documents when you're coming to school. Um, please, eh? we need like five or six passports, but I would advise you to take at least 24 passport photographs, white background and red background. So you can take like 12 white background, 12 red background, um, photographs so that you can have 24 copies of passport photograph. Another document you'll be needing is your WIEC or NECO SSC result. Now, um, and these documents, make sure you have already uploaded your SSC result on your JAM portal. It is very important because you are going to need your JAM admission letter. Later, I hope you got that one. <laughs> you're going to need it. So, um, jam admission letter. When you're seeing some people say, I've not gotten my jam admission letter, it's because you've not uploaded your O level on jam portal. Go and do it. 
Another document you are going to need is your jam results slip. I'm not talking about your jam notification slip. That's the one that just have the the subjects and the and the scores. No, the jam results slip has your passport. That one is about a thousand five hundred naira, and you can do it on your jam portal using your username and password. If you've not set up your portal yet, visit an accredited CBT center so that they can set up your portal for you. Another document you'll be needing uh, for a Guinean university's uh, uh, clearance when you get to school is your local government identification letter. Another one you will need is your birth certificate or your sworn affidavit to confirm your age. Another one you will need is the health certificate from a recognized medical center. If you, if, if you don't have a, the health certificate from a recognized uh, medical center, you can just go to school like that. They will tell you what to do because most people don't even understand it, right? So that one, that last one I said now, school will help you um, in that case, right? Okay, let's talk about books, right? Um, a couple of the times I've told people, if you're coming to school, I mean, you know that you're supposed to bring some things anyway. You're going to bring your clothes. You're going to bring, uh, make sure you have open account. Uh -huh. You're going to bring clothes. You're going to bring like all your necessary essentials. I can't go into all of them now. You know what you need to bring. I'm just going to tell you some must brings at the end of this video. But remember, you're supposed to bring, and the most, the most thing in the Guinea University is cash, right? Cash is king. Cash is king. Cash is king in this school. Cash is king. Eh? Huh. Uh, you need to bring money and money and money. You know, so open an account and put your. And then if you are in, if you are in IU or you are coming to IU and you are a reckless spender, eh? Your eye, your eye will open that you are supposed to manage your money. Anyways, cash is king. So um, when you are coming to school, I'm not saying bring the whole world. Though. I'm saying at least have some cash you can spend and have some cash at hand every single time. Why? Because the distance from the hostel to the ATM uh, is, 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 you will see it now, she are going to school. You will see what I'm telling you. It's much. So I advise students every time that in as much as you have your ATM with you, always have some cash at hand. Maybe like 10K. Just hold something so that whenever you need to spend money or buy food or go to the market, you have cash at hand. I know that they are POS operators, but at least it's good to just have cash at hand most of the time, right? And beware too, because some people still don't look at it that, ah, I'm coming to a school where everybody is rich. And then you are thinking that you will not protect your property. My dear, protect your property, people still. Let me talk about books, right? That 8 in 1 book that people used to buy, that they want to use one book to do all the subject, please don't make that mistake. Hmm? First of all, it's not even very mature. Buy that long notebook, 80 leaf notebook. Um, I think it's called higher education. Buy like maybe 10 of it and then use one per, per the courses you will do. In 100 level, you are doing more GST courses. So um, buy one per like your courses you will do. You don't know how many courses you will do right now. So just buy like 10 or 15 books, notebooks. Um, then, for, then for books also, because I'm going to also pay uh, for books. So 15K, if you check the charges, the things you paid now, um, 15K from that your payment was for books. So what you will do basically is that your book deposit entitles you to your library card. Your library card entitles you to go to library. You can use that. And Ignito University have one of the best libraries. Aside from, I don't want to mention another school in this video, right? Aside from Covenant University, I've seen Ignito University has one of the, like their library is like dope. So you need to watch out for that. You can take a picture of the library and, you know, post it uh, or post it. I don't know, but tag me. So, Emilio University has a good library. You need to really look out for that. So, 15K book deposit entitles you to your library card. And that your library card basically entitles you to go to the library and read. And also, that your 15K, you are going to take that, your book deposit slip to the bookshop. And you are going to take books worth 15,000 Naira. Once you are done taking books worth 15,000 Naira, any other book you want to take in the bookshop, you have to pay with your own money. So let's talk about dressing in Ignidio University. Um, aside law, medicine, and I think biz admin, right? Aside these three departments, um, it, like dressing is just, there's no really hard and fast rule to dressing in IUO. Um, it's just basically be, be, be modest, be dressed well, dress appropriate, you know, don't gonna be wearing mini skirt because you know that the school is a liberal school. Um, dress well, dress well. Permit me to prepare my mic. Okay, so dress well. Um, 
for long for law students you know i think black and white is what you're wearing and your white has to be white um for those people that are in medicine i think there's a dress code for medicine students i'll find that out but i think for biz admin is blue and black on mondays blue and black on mondays for biz admin but dressing in the Benito university is like very very liberal like no hard and fast rule to it shall don't just wear anything that your body will show and don't be inappropriate when you dress dress modestly and and look sweet and look peng you know don't go and wear mini skirt don't go and wear short knicker and say you are going to class with mr zion say dress appropriately iuo does not have um, too much too much when it comes to dressing they don't really because i've seen some people in the school i've gone to the school i've seen some people wearing nose ring i've seen some people wearing leg chain and they are not doing anything to them so it's a school that yes they, 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 they allow you be you they allow you express yourself and that's why most students take it to the extreme and you see most of them going into drugs and all these things don't be part of it too. in every school we have bad people let me not lie but don't be part of it IO helps you get a university experience because a university experience is for you to be independently making decisions that will help your future and IUO is one private university that allows you to do that. I mean, which other private university will allow you cook inside the, inside the hostel? Most of them are scared that they are going to burn the hostel or maybe have, have you know, an accident in terms of um, your cooking or maybe the gas might explode or something. But IUO allows students to cook and that's one thing I really give them a thumbs up for. Because sometimes you don't just want to buy book and you want to eat your own food. So, if you don't know how to cook as a woman, I don't know what to say to you. Uh, men, please learn how to cook. Go and do YouTube video on how to cook. Me, Zion, I don't know how to cook oh, so much. Mr. Zion doesn't know how to cook much. But at least um, I have a wife and she cooks for me. But you're a student. If you can learn how to cook, learn it. It's going to help your life. All right. Let me talk about church. You know, at least at least there are like over nine churches. Winners. Um, um, a lot of the churches there. And then, you know, it's a liberal school. When it comes to religion also so we have muslims and we have christians in ignidia university or kada right so it's important to understand that there's a mox in the school also so it's a school that when it comes to religion there's no hard and fast route to it and unlike other schools that are christian schools um that attendance in church is linked to your attendance uh for your exam or is is graded as a part of your attendance to write exam in ignidia university if you don't go to church nobody will kill you if you don't go to mox nobody will force you but I advise you to love the Lord, go to church, don't go to school and then be, be, be wayward. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Because freedom is, the, is one thing you are going to get in the Benedictine University. But if you don't manage freedom well, freedom might also turn to bondage. I'm telling you. So you now notice that you are free, but then because of your bad decisions, you have now been caged. Caged by your own decisions that were not right. Because if you have five carryovers, you're already caged. If you have ten carryovers, you're caged. If you impregnate a girl, you're no longer free. If you do some things that are bad, if you take uh, drugs and then you go gaga, you're no longer free. You know, so don't be a slave to anything because you think you are free. Freedom is the ability to make right choices that moves you in the right direction, not the ability to go wild like most people think. So let me talk about the accommodation, right? Accommodation is provided for all students in the, you know, Okada, the Wonderland Estate. Wonderland Estate is where all of you stay. Uh, so the hostel is excellent. I mean, there's kitchen, there's toilet, there's bedroom. There's, the room is spacious, you know. And accommodation in the Benedictine University is compulsory. You must stay in campus. You don't want to stay off camp, self. Isn't that Okada that is a village that you want to go and be finding? Is it more that you want to go and stay? So, because you just stay on campus and, um, you know, have accommodation there. We have four-man room, we have three-man room, and I think as you progress to, like, final year, you can have the option of staying in a one-man room. But for a start, you have four in a room. You, as you progress, you, you can opt for a three-man room, and then one-man room can be something that you can opt for also as you go along. But accommodation in the Benito University is really excellent. But let me talk about water. You know, I know you've heard, maybe you heard a couple of people have told you that light, light goes off from like 9 a.m. to 4 a.m., right? So within that time, there's no light in the hostel, yeah, because they expect you to be in school. Now, when you come back from school, they'll power the light on for the hostel. Before, it used to be 24 hours light too, but like some years back, I don't know what happened, and then they started doing all this rationing of light. Now, because of that, and because of some other factors, you might not get water flowing every single time. 
I'm not saying water doesn't flow in the hostel. I'm saying you might not get water flowing every single time. So one of the must buys in Ibinina University is a drum. Hmm? Buy drum to store water. You know, buy like a 25 liter drum or a 50 liter drum. Depends on you and your roommate. Store water. Because the water you store today is how you will have your bath tomorrow. And how you say, Mr. Zion, thank you for that advice. Another must bring to, to Ibinina University is your power bank very very important another must bring um to Ibinidon university is your extension that one you know you're, you're, you're gonna have like one socket on the wall so bring an extension because you might want to plug a phone you might want to plug a laptop you might want to plug your power bank an extension is also very important now let me also talk about like getting a laptop it's not a, it's not a luxury to get a laptop you need a laptop in the university because you are going to come back to this video and say mr zion you said it everything you're going, even with lectures right is slides sometimes you do assignments you have to present it in slides or present it in ms word format or pdf format so your lecture notes are like they're going to give you slides so your laptop is so important when you come to the university you really really need a laptop um, when you come here because they're going to use it for your assignments your lecture notes your presentations you need a laptop and if i were you i'll buy something like a core i5 a core i5 something that can process um, um what's it called um fast right don't just go and buy any laptop make sure you check for like hp or Dell, buy Core i5, or I mean, I'm using a Core i7, right? Buy a Core i5 and above, it's gonna help you. I'm sorry, I don't have a laptop dragging and you're slow, and because they're gonna load a lot of things on that laptop, right? So it's important uh, that you know that when it comes to your uh, laptop, and you also need a phone. Phones are allowed in Ignatian University. Um, you can also have a refrigerator when you come to school, you know? So like I said, it's a school that has a bit of like liberality, but I hope you also don't take it for granted. Now, there are also like nice spots around when you come to Ibinidia University. I want to check out um, some of the nice spots around. I hear there are some, there are some places where they even sell palm wine, you know? It's, it, IUO is actually fun, let me not lie to you. We took campuses and one estate for your uh, accommodation and a, a great social life. You want to really come to Ibinidia University but that's why this video is here so that i can tell you like a lot of things that nobody might might tell you about school if you are the type that wants to cook you need to take advantage of market days the okada uh, uh, you know market days. take advantage of it although you can still get food for like 500 naira per meal um, but if you're the type that you like cooking another must bring a hair is calm gas if you like cooking girls or boys eh, please come out <laughs> bring your calm gas why am i saying they are must brings because most of the time, the, the prices of things in IUO is like two times the price you get it in your house. So why not bring it from your house? So a camp gas is another must bring if you know that you'll be cooking. All those your delicacy, eh? Bring a camp gas to school. Uh, but if you'll not be cooking, then you don't need to bring a camp gas. Just bring ego, kudi, money, and buy food as, at, at like pay as you eat kind of thing. Right? Good? All right. So let's talk about some fun activities that happens in Ignatian University. But before I do that, another must bring to Ignatian University is fan, standing fan. It will help your destiny. Listen, if I were you, I'll find a rechargeable standing fan. Only the, the problem sometimes is that most people use their rechargeable standing fan to be charging their phone. You will just kill the fan. Well, rechargeable standing fan is something that you must bring if you are coming to iuo right it's important so let's talk about fun activities uh, most of the fun activities in the Benito university happens in like the second semester where you have like the founders week where you have like the students week you know where you have like you know a plethora of activities for you to jive for you to enjoy yourself you understand for you to know you know kumole and loki loki um, but like i said though if you are doing medicine don't jive read law don't jive read because your name is still in pencil in the school but other departments you know have a great social life and as you progress in the school always balance your social life and your academic life i'm not saying just read and don't and don't play right all work and no play is not good so it's good to read but it's also good that as you progress you begin to balance it up but as you start 100 level it's not the time for play mm. let's let's just be honest 100 level is the time where you set the academic shape of your uh, academic destiny Hundred level is the time where you position things for the better. Hundred level is the time where you position the GP because set it so that it will not fall beyond a certain level as you as you climb. So if I were you, my advice, my suggestion, 
Don't play in 100 level. Don't have time for all this fun in 100 level. Focus. So that by 200 level, you can begin to have like a breather. Eh? That time you can jay small, you can komole small. Eh? But don't overdo it too. Because there's a tendency to overdo it. If you graduate with a bad result, what will happen? Uh -huh. So, you are going to school, your father and mother, they are paying millions eh? for you to go to school. You don't think it's, it's just uh, luxury. It's important that you know that the, the, what they want from you back is basically a good result, good relationships, and then a great experience. And I pray I know you will have that. If you got to this part of the video, you know how we do it here. Soak in the energy. Soak in the energy. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right. You guys make me sometimes just so excited. I'm excited to see you progress. And, and like, we've gotten loads of testimonies about people entering Covenant Universities and other schools. I can't wait for us to strike to, to be called off. Listen, I, I'm not going to do videos about other schools like public schools because of us to strike, right? When us to strike is called off, I will pump you guys with videos on every... Um, public school that you want me to do a video on but for now put a comment there and say i u o i am here comma i u o i will graduate you are speaking to the atmosphere i u o i'm here comma i u o i will graduate drop that comment there and let's soak in the energy soak in the energy what you are saying to the atmosphere what you are saying to god is if you know the university of Canada, i have come right then you put a, a comma Ignore the University of Canada, I will graduate. Because some people come in and don't go out. Some people come in and go out in the wrong way. Some people come in and get expelled. Some people come in and have extra years. You are writing this statement now as a fresher to say, I U O, I'm here. Comma. I U O, I will graduate. And as you seal it there, I'll put amen and respond to your comment. All right, guys. Let's let me also share this exciting news. Go, go, go. <laughs> You know the reason why I do this channel? Um, I've, I've procrastinated on doing YouTube for like eight years. Um, but people started telling me, that you need to help more people. I've been helping a, a lot of people in worry, but people said, come on YouTube and help more people. And I said, the only reason why I want to do YouTube is two things, help people um, and, and support the school. I'm running two free schools for orphan children. And that's why I came in here. They said that there's an opportunity to be monetized on YouTube. And I said, you know what, let's do it because the money is going to help the orphans. That's why I, I'm going to start saying to you, please don't skip the ads if you see any ads in my videos please don't skip it just watch it small because if you watch it small what you are doing to to to, to me and to the channel is that you're helping us grow our revenue so that we can support children in our orphan school we have been monetized is somebody happy for mr zion and the channel so guys i'm going to do a full video on that but this channel is just six months six months into taking it seriously and we have been monetized i'm so excited what that means is that you're going to be seeing adverts on my videos you're going to be seeing some banner ads please if you see adverts on the video please don't skip it and uh, even i'm not saying come and contribute to the school it's a free school we run for orphans we feed them we educate them i'm not saying come and contribute now if you can contribute i'll be grateful though if you can feed a child but the way you can contribute to to the channel and to the children is don't skip the ads let the ads play and then continue watching my videos so that the revenue we get from the ads we can use it for the children so anytime you don't skip an ad you're keeping a child in school right so ignited university is located in okada uh for those of you that are asking the headquarters of ovia north east local government area Ignatian University was founded by Sir Gabriel Osawa Ignatian CFR, a philanthropist and a chief in Benin Kingdom. Um, every program, undergraduates and graduate programs of the university is accredited by the National Universities Commission. Can I pray with you? Father, I thank you for this person that listened to me. I ask that they will never be a victim of circumstance. Even if you are surrounded by people that don't like you, I pray for you now that you will be supported by God. You will be greatly helped by God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that listen to me. I pray for you that got to this part of this video. I say, may the Lord support you. May the Lord bless you. May he give you wisdom. If you read and you don't understand, from today I decree upon your life, you will understand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know how I do, right? I love you guys. And I'll be talking next, on my next video, I'll be talking about five proven ways that you can study effectively. Five proven ways. And this way even works for slow learners. So, 
watch out for the next video on this channel thank you for watching bye